Okay, so we're back, and yeah, deleting files and recording at the same time when running out of space crashed Minecraft. So, we're back. We're back! And we're heading to Scott's place. I need to get rail. I take the protected path to stop the place. Oh, okay, you take the protected path and I'll take the fun path. I'm taking the fun path only if you know it's not so fun. I, I mean, like come it. on, there's that one wide bridge. There's several one wide bridges. <laughs> And there's lots of exposed areas for the ghasts to have fun. What are you doing? Oh, I was I was wondering if you're gonna make it before I like made it too wide. Oh, I wouldn't go past. Right. Chicken. Fine. This is my path. You don't have to fix it. It's, it's not your. Path. Well, it's I like between it. you it's and. Alright. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad path, but it's just unsafe. You sound like Phil now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Does Dangerous Stuff All the Time, and he comes to Nether and he starts immediately complaining that everything's dangerous. So, this is the this is the first Nether Fortress I found. It took me ages to find it, even though it was just around the corner from my portal. And I have been mining this place to death. Over there is the blaze fun box. Let's go a little bit closer so you can see it. Where I just take some fire resistance potions, just go in there and XP up and get zillions of blaze rods. So yeah. That over there in the distance is the tunnel to Phil's place. So okay, the way nether portals work is they have to have a point in the nether, that's where they anchor. And the coordinates in Phil's real world land connect into the nether over lava. Which is why when it, he would make it in his real world, it would just basically connect back to this portal here in the nether, because there was nowhere to put the portal. So he had to basically make his own land over the lava, and uh, build the portal in the nether, which then made a portal in his real world in a really bad spot. So then he had to move that portal to the real world, to a point that was close enough in the nether world, uh, whatever. You get the idea. <laughs> It's, uh, it, it was pretty ingenious though, I'm glad that we did this. So, welcome to Scott's second place. We uh, have a place way up that way in the city. He has a rail. The rail's on the other side of this building. This is his uh, obsidian house. I'm moving my arms as I talk to the interwebs. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of neat. This is coming on nicely. Of course, laying down all of this obsidian is kind of nuts. He, he uses lava. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we could say the same thing about his first house camp studying, but this one. This one's nice. <laughs> this one actually has a basement too. Um, black wool. Oh, I mean, yeah. See where it goes in the future. But he also made like a dozen other houses for himself. So he's got his flaming church. <laughs> and he's got his long house, as in from Skyrim. Which is just him connecting multiple houses together. Which is sort of funny. And he's got a brick house. I'm glad that nobody sang a song. I was so tempted. Oh. And a wood house, obviously. Yes. <laughs> and he's a rail station. Which we're not going to travel on, guys. It goes forever. And just goes to a snow biome where he's got his first crappy place. It's no point. So, yeah, that's two people who decided to build in villages. Um, my village is a little bit too far away for me to. I don't have I don't have a village at all I think. I look like again. Oh boy. 
I don't think my computer likes having so many uncompressed videos on the hard disk. Oh. Oh, well, that's probably all there is to show us, because plus anyway. And that just leaves Phil. And Phil's going to have to wait. I think Phil would prefer us to wait until he's actually built something. Yeah. I love how you, when you like walk into people, like, you can see the inside of their heads. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm, I'm <laughs> so glad you're not a doctor. <laughs> right, well, on, on this note of uh, no frame rate, I'm going to end this one and start actually compressing this on YouTube. I'm recording. You're not getting away with this anymore. <laughs> Don't make me turn this recording back around. It's, it's, it's happening. This is happening right now. You want you want the interwebs to know that you're lost. So be it. <laughs> <laughs> the interwebs are going to start thinking I'm blonde. Okay, well, I'm heading back to my base so that I can show you how to get to Scott's base. Okay. Are you blonde? No. <laughs> what color hair do you have? Brunette. Ah, okay. Which shade of brunette though? Is like light, light or dark? Not dark. Hmm. This change in the sun, what, you know, exposed to sun and water. Yeah, it gets a little reddish on the top layers. A little reddish. You got some Irish in your history. Yes. Ah. My mom doesn't. My mom doesn't tan. She freckles. To be sure. To be sure. Okay, I'm at the Nether Wolf farm. I'm inside, standing by the portal. Am I supposed to come out that side? I don't know how you get to leases. Even if you follow the old sign to Scott's place. That's right there. It says leases. But I went out that way. That's the old sign to Scott's place. I didn't know you put a tunnel in here. Wait, so you went out the door and then immediately turned and went to leases. I see. No, 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 no. I went out. I went out this door and I went straight. But if you go straight, how do you get to leases from here? You can. There's some path of torches you can follow. Yeah. I, I turned around and went the wrong way. Okay, well, the double torches leads you to Scott's, but if you want the safe path, it's this way. And somewhere down here is the center area where all the rail tracks are going to end up. Right in here. Oh. It's zero zero, so it's pretty easy to find. And we're going to steal three pieces of iron, no, five pieces of iron from Scott to make another <laughs> cart so that we don't have to uh, walk that long path again. Oh, good. Because he has one cart, but not the other. So I suppose introductions are in all. This is Mackie. Hello. We went to her land earlier on, so she wasn't there then. Um, tough luck. <laughs> yeah, she'll have to wait to see the video to see what we said. Ah, uh, critiquing my structure, I'm sure. <laughs> Just for you to know, my storage area now has another brick floor. What storage? Area? Almost. <laughs> storage slash workshop slash whatever. Have to close doors for you now too. Oh, we need to get <laughs> the iron. Oh, that's right. We have to complete our thieving mission first. Gonna do five thieving missions in each city. <laughs> and then we'll rule the thieves guild. Ah oh, damn it, I can't put it back in there. Oh well. Where's a workbench? Why why no workbench? Workbench down? Where does he keep his iron? Oh well, you know what? He's now got a new stack of iron in there. Congratulations, Scott. <laughs> you won a stack of iron. Got lava dripping all over his carpet. Why you no catch on fire? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so we didn't go this way before because the path is really long. But afterwards, I chatted with Scott in Skype, and he was like, "You should go to my other place." <laughs> oh, the other other place. Up in. Oh. It's gonna power both. Oh. <laughs> Things I did not know. Get on the power rail. Mm. Whoa. I just Whoa. stopped. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Now I'm moving again. 
<laughs> Hello, lag. Nice to meet you. It didn't even have any like frame lag that time. That was just that must have been server lag. I, I have no idea. Fix your game, Jeb. <laughs> <laughs> not just left you with a legacy. Fix it. <laughs> this is not the kind of legacy you're supposed to be respecting. <laughs> like uh, B double O and Good were talking about. I don't know, some, some item thing, and they were saying that it didn't work the way they expected, and they said, but that's what you expect in Minecraft, is things do not work the way you expect them to. <laughs> expect things to be completely horribly broken. Why is this so far away? Why did he build this tunnel? Why not just abandon the base? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's not like on one of my single-player things way back where I had a thing that went to a an ice area and to the other area, and, you know, this is just why. Well, we kind of have that just by where people live. Like, if I want snow, I can just go to Lisa's place. Yeah. If Phil needs sand, he can go to Jinx or me. So, welcome to the other place that's got made. Which still, well, it doesn't quite have government building windows like the other one. <laughs> I didn't even say that on camera, so now, now it's out Oops. there. <laughs> Whoops. Now I've said it. You endorse this message. <laughs> you know, since Scott never comes here, I'm taking the slow stand. Wait, what does that call in Pirate Speak? Sand of the Devil. <laughs> Are you using Pirate Yarr. Speak? I no? should use it more often. I did it or I did it the other day, but I was kind of tired and it kept confusing me. Confusing you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't hey. speak pirate so, very well. Here's my criticism of this. This is a star. I'm looking up at a star right now. You don't see a star? That's because it was done in two dimensions in a three-dimensional game. Why you know three dimensions? Why do you know 3D? Why you hate 3D, Scott? <laughs> so there it is. Dawnstar, as Scott calls it. This is Dawnstar base. And, um, I don't know why he moved. I think he just decided he didn't like what he'd built. Where are you going? I don't know where you are. Oh, there you are. Uh, hello, I fell. <laughs> oh, you were going up there? I was thinking about it. Maybe he built it for the view. I was trying to figure out. Oh, I must fall off too. See a lot of it already. It's made out of cobblestone. Okay, I, I have to rant for a moment about cobblestone. Cobblestone is not a solid structure. <laughs> There's lava up here. What the hell? By definition, it's a bunch of... Uh bits of stone yeah so building a tower out of cobblestone is like the worst thing you could possibly do and it's I like get building it. a stone a tower out of gravel I, I get it i understand that cobblestone was the go-to material in minecraft for like forever but, but now we have sexy things like stone brick <laughs> and nether brick tell and them brick Mikey. brick so many things. Your noob structure for the first few days, sure, build it out of cobblestone. When you're building this tower, why you no build? Why you no put other patterns in there? Come on, we've done other patterns. 101. Okay, so that star might actually be at the top. Probably is. Um, yeah, so... We think it's like Jinx built that giant castle out of cobblestone. But in our last world, he used brick. He used stone brick. So, I, you know, I quizzed him once about, why did you do it that? You know, why, why did you use call this cobble? And he didn't really answer. Okay, let's get out of here. Yep, I'm cautiously making my way down. I don't want to face plant again. I'm going to cut the video for the travel back. Ah, because yes. Good plan. It's, it's a little bit ridiculous. Hey, did, uh, did they slow down this the time for the buttons? Don't know. I do not know either. Or it could just be the server lagging. Okay, I'm pausing the video and we'll see you back on the other side. And we're back!
and so right we were. Oh, right I'm right here. I forgot that we weren't recording, and I was pointing out that right the first thing. <laughs> right on. The, what? What? Yes, I know. I'm trying to start talking, but you keep talking. Sorry, I was dumb. No, the first uh, place that the two of us built together, we built a lighthouse that had a spiral thing, and all we had was cobblestone and glass. So why you no do different patterns up your thing? And he's got a double helix portal now. I mean, come on. To, to be fair, Scott's new place is good. Yes. This place is dark. Okay, we are going to Phil's place. So it's lucky oh. we still have our minecarts. Except there's no gold here. So how do we get speed? Uh, he's planning on giving us that later. I guess and I'll maybe actually putting it. light. Yeah, how about some light, Phil? <sighs> I mean, yeah. I know we're not ups, upstairs. No, you got to uh, understand, people, that, that when Phil st finally got into the nether, he complained bitterly about the one wide bridges over <laughs> gigantic lava pits. <laughs> uh-huh, and then he makes us a one wide rail tunnel. But it's safe, you see. It's all enclosed. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have made it anyway. Stupid pigment on the track. Oh. Use us, pardon us, doing a tour. So, I mean, that rail is pretty much useless. <laughs> Without gold in it, yep, pretty much. Off to fill land. <laughs> okay, where are we? Oh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm going to look at this structure, but I'm not going to say what it is. Even from this side, I have a feeling. I'm not going to look at the other sign. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> yep, pretty much. That's what but I thought. Let me just say that artist equals Lisa, and Lisa is quite proud of her construction. <laughs> oh, it's a troll. Mm -hmm. It's oh, all right, then. So speaking of gigantic boxes, <laughs> Phil is ce uh, celebrating the fact that this world is made out of cubes by building a giant cube. It's not actually what he's doing, but I'm trying to make it sound better than it is. Trying to make it sound like he was actually doing something other than just slapping blocks down. He made a gigantic mob spawn in Majiga, uh, which is super useful. I've made a lot of TNT using this thing. Uh, I gave a lot of it to you, Mackie, and I gave a bunch of it to Lisa. Lisa built her mob spawn using the TNT. Yeah, that's that's quite a lot of TNT. I think that's more TNT. Why is there like a roof missing? Uh, that. You don't know. Okay, so what Phil's doing here is he's offsetting the holes. So uh, that behind you, creeper. <laughs> <laughs> so he's offsetting the holes. <laughs> <Hang on. laughs> See, we have proof. It was not us, it was a creeper. <laughs> the only block that survived still. That's that's what I'm putting there. Okay, so he's offsetting the holes so that the drop is far enough that the mobs can fall down it without going, ooh, I can't fall down that hole. And even the new AI, when it comes out, should be okay with that because it is a safe drop. But oh. it's like a Plinko machine. They just they go down the next hole, then the next hole, then the next hole. It's not a great design because they're going to take damage every time they go down uh, and the higher this thing gets, the more likely it is they'll be dead before they reach the bottom. But it seems to work reasonably well. I don't know if it's super efficient, but no one in our group is like a super efficient player, so... <laughs> it's efficient enough for us. It's sufficiently sufficient. Efficient. It's armor like it's taking some damage. <laughs> Let's go check out his house. Yes, I see he's upgraded from dirt hut to nether something. I think he got sick of the Enderman. Tearing his <laughs> house down. <laughs> that would be a problem, yes. Okay, so the trap's actually working right now. And yeah, he hasn't cleaned out all of the caves and stuff around here yet, so it's not going to be super, super efficient. Um, under here is your dog, Phil. I hope. I think. He's not making any noise. Did I suffocate? No, I heard the wolf. Lisa claims that her dog died, died from starvation because she didn't feed it. <laughs> what? What? 
is this? It's like a labyrinth in here. It's actually like a normal house. It's like it's like a three bedroom house with carpet and everything. <laughs> and no lights in the bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, not even a reading lamp. Um, so yeah, it clearly needs a roof, but here's the master bedroom. Um, yeah. Well, he, he, there's no books, but here's the enchanting oh. table. Oh yeah, I had the dog back. And we're all good. Dog's still alive. Did you get any items? Eh, yeah, a couple of string and bone. Yeah, it sounds like I'm gonna some creeper poop. <laughs> Everybody's favorite poop. Well, there really needs to be another way to get it in the game. And also, TNT is not made from gunpowder. I'm sorry, Notch, but, uh... Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, you guys were talking about that in Skype last night. Isn't it clay was supposed to be the stabilizer? Yeah, instead of sand. And there is clay in the game, so... I don't know why we're not using clay to make TNT. Maybe he was afraid too many people would have a fit if he changed it once clay was added. Actually, it's think, been sand forever. I actually think this game would be a heck of a lot better if the crafting section, like assembling things on the crafting table, were actually taken out of the game and replaced with, you know, these are the materials you need to build the thing. Like, like in Skyrim. Um, because, you know, you look at the Technic pack and there are so many things. Shiny. Yeah, and, and so, like, the more you add stuff to this game, the more the crafting is nonsense. Like... You know, you, you look at people's custom mods and they're like, and we'll throw a diamond in so that it's expensive. And it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just really very silly. Ah, SMP glitching. Die. Glitch spider. Just drown already. Why well, you no drown? Thank you for drowning. Fix your game, get it. You can have this string, I don't want string. <laughs> well, string can become wool. So is there something in particular you want to show off at your place? Because uh, I, I went on the bridges, and I Did took you? them to the nether portal, and we went to the end. Mm. Did you look at my stuff inside the mountain? Well, you're calling the mountain, yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, if you see my little bedroom, and my little enchanting thing, and my little workshop, that's pretty much it inside. Oh, okay. Except for the stair of doom, but you know, stairs. You know the where the crevice is to get to. Um, to get to the the end, right? Lisa fell off. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I don't know. Yeah, you were gonna build a tunnel to get to the the stronghold. Oh. Um, and then we found two crevices joined together and at least straight into the place. That's right. And you see, I have to leave notes for myself on signs. So I remember what I'm doing from time to time over here. Yeah, you see, no, I know. <coughs> <laughs> I guess we'll end this tour back in my place then. Ugh. There is a dip <laughs> here. I'm going to try writing that. Oh, yeah, I get a little acceleration from that. Uh, don't bother, there's a picture right here. Push. Oh. <laughs> I was this close to killing him. This close. But then you went, you know, it's not the kind of fight I wanted to pick today. Ah, it would be fine. Okay, soft touches. I think they fight in, like, little groups now. Like, if we kill one here and then went back to my place and found some pigmen, they wouldn't be interested. Ah, they have different tribes. Yeah, whereas before, when we first started fighting them, you kill one and the entire nether is hostile to all players. Fix your game, Jeb. So, what do you think this room was, was for? I, don't, I really don't understand why somebody built this large cavernous area. It's like he started to make it three wide, or he was just trying to figure out how to zigzag. I don't even... <laughs> oh yeah, we'll go the quote-unquote dangerous way back. Going to fill. And I'll get my bow out just in case. Good plan. Yeah, Lisa tried to make my dang quote unquote dangerous part safer. 
Uh, Thankfully, she did it with dirt, so it doesn't really make it safe. Right? She only half finished the job. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes it more dangerous. <laughs> yeah, because they could aim right at you, and if you happen to have slid over on the dirt part, boom. Well, Hello, no, it's like worse than that. If you're going in the opposite direction and you are running on the dirt side, you don't realize it's not finished. <laughs> you just run straight into splish. the lava. That's why I generally carry a fire resistant potion around with me when I'm in the nether now. Just in case that happens, I can quickly drink it and not die. You can, uh, actually swim in lava. Yeah, it's actually, uh, I've been thinking about getting some of the more difficult to get at glowstone. But I haven't run out of glowstone yet, so we're good. What's another one? Did you need any? No, I got me some started in my nether thing, so I think I, I think I borrowed some the other day when I uh, replanted the nether after the cast got at it. I have some grandiose ideas of things I want to build, but I'm not sure they all can fit here. <laughs> you know, You're going to built, need another base? I've already built such large things already. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know. I'm just living inside a mountain. He's got this palace and a tower and the helix thing. And oh man, I have the best idea for... You know how I was, I'm saying I'm going to build a map? Uh-huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a big room, right? Big, perhaps circular shaped room. And then put down a, a, a block representing each of the landscapes for the maps of our lands. You know, maybe do a, I don't know, oh, 16 so by 16 area to represent each 1024 bit uh, byte area. Block area. And then, well, you know, things like this towel, that will be represented by two um, nether bricks, you know, sitting on the floor. And and this palace will be one sandstone brick. You're making a miniature scale model, basically. Yeah. Well, let's say my map will be a bunch of grass bricks. <laughs> and a few water bricks. Yes. <laughs> Until you build on top of the mountain. If you, are you still going to do that? I don't know. I was thinking of using the tops of the mountains just to have, like, uh, pens up there for the animals. Pens? No, no, no. Have, have fancy gardens. <laughs> fancy gardens. Yes, I was thinking of hollowing out underneath my tower into a big room and doing the, the scale model of the world there. Mm. Um, I've got plenty of TNT to do it. I'll run into a bunch of these caverns and crevices and stuff, though. Oh, um, yeah, that room's going to be kind of... Where'd that light come from and go to? I don't even. <laughs> You're saying I don't even a lot. <laughs> uh, well, I don't. <laughs> why don't you finish? Actually, to, to do that correctly, it's a, why don't you finish your... <laughs> Which way did you go? I think that you lagged away again. I'm standing right here. Oh, there you go. I swear I looked there just a minute ago. You weren't there. <laughs> I came up with some excuse why I needed to raise this up one block higher the other day. Oh yeah, I was thinking of making the water up top flow out of holes down into oh, the... Oh, into your moat? Hmm. I've been trying <laughs> to think of ways to make this more interesting and... Yeah. Well, if you do that, you've kind of got the hanging gardens. Hmm. Hanging gardens are a bit more fancy than this. Wow. Well. It's a start. It's a start? <laughs> I know you. I'm not going to build the hanging gardens. Maybe Lisa might. She's the one who built an Apple store. Calls it the Oracle. <laughs> have you seen what this stuff looks like on a map? I'm going to have a look. Yeah, I, I cleaned up my install thing so I don't have a mini map anymore so I don't see. Ha! <laughs> Hacker. <laughs> You're such a cheater, more hacks. <laughs> AVO. You've heard of AVO, aren't you? Because I'm still a hacker. Hmm. So you can actually see the outline of my palace. You can obviously see, like, the general area where I built everything. It's too bad another brick doesn't show up in its own color. I know, it's just grey. Yeah. Where's the fun in that? Yeah. Well, I think we're just going to end it right there. You have now had a tour of 
all the sites. I mean, James hasn't built anything on his land, so we can't. He hasn't even made it to his land. He keeps dying. So <laughs> I offered to escort him there because he he's like that way. So he's not actually that far away from. Wait, is that Lisa now? And I think Lisa's diagonal. Yeah, she's definitely diagonal. So she's out that way. I think James is that way. And uh, Mackie is that way. Jinx is that way. Scott is that way. You know what? Let's go to Riverwood. <laughs> you can see where it all began. Too bad we don't have Swiftness potions. Well, seriously. Let's make some. Oh, hey, yeah. We don't need two. We'll get three out of the batch. Okay, what do we need? We need sugar. And we need netherwort. Got netherwort. Um, I might have some cane sitting in storage somewhere. I'll go check. And if not, you, we can just farm some. Yes. I will go over to your farm. I mean, already be some good. We need redstone to make it last longer. Or goes turn to make it faster still. I think last longer is what we need. Actually, we need two each so we can get back. Come on, why do I come over here? Well, there's nothing in your farm chest, so I will have to punch a few. Yeah, just wait, game. just wait. I might not huh? No, no. Yeah, I've got plenty. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, come up. It's a uh, ninth floor. There's no elevator. There used to be an elevator, and it was a minecart elevator. But in SMP, the minecarts, they move. Like in single player, they just stay there and it works. But in multiplayer, they move. It's terrible. Do I have any empty bottles? No. I have some bottles of water there. How many bottles does this give me? Three. So we want to. Four. Two to get there, two to get back. Okay, so, four of those, four of those, four of those. I'm going to turn this into sugar cane. Into sugar. <laughs> I've got four black powder with me. No, I'm not using that. Oh, wait, I don't need four. I only need two. If this stuff works as well as I hope it does, I might make more. <laughs> Go around like the Roadrunner. Meep, meep. Exactly. Yeah, they sped up the brewing, which is nice. Yes, it only takes a couple minutes instead of half an hour. So, yeah, speaking of these grandiose things I wanted to build, I was thinking of maybe building one in your land inside one of your mountains, but I'm not sure that this is a spot that I really want to do it in. So I have to decide. Hmm. And also get licensed to do that. <laughs> Who has all map? Why are you building mine? Oh, wait, you don't have any mountains. That's why. I do. Over there. Mm -hmm. I, I have one now. I haven't really built anything out that way. I'd have to build a big highway with light and everything. Oh no. Whatever would you do with a highway with more light? <laughs> Whatever. Here you go. I yeah, think I built you'd... Peg leg, not anymore. <laughs> Grow <Grown laughs> <to> full sails. <laughs> oh wow. Pirate speak is awesome. I'm not going to drink mine until I get to the bottom. Yeah. And for the sake of the video, I will reset the day time. Because. Otherwise, we'd have to wait. Or we'll use beds, I suppose. Nah. I'll we'll just set time. It's faster. Yeah, I noticed you doing that the other day when there was more of us on. Well, you know what? Everybody would agree to get into beds anyway. So. Yeah, so this prevents us having to run 20 whatever back to the bed and then run back out to wherever what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. It, it is a, a convenience. And everyone could take beds with themselves anyway, but set up a safety area and all that kind of stuff. But okay, I'm drinking mine. That's good. Swishy, swishy. Wee. 
Yeah, we'll be running past my mountains, in fact. <laughs> you put my map back, right? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, bee potions made with sugar. So we just drank a Coke, basically? Yeah. <laughs> There is a command to turn off the weather, but I don't know it. I, I could look at help, but I'm running. Find it out later. I only have eight minutes to run to Riverwood. <laughs> Why won't need that one? Oh. Yeah, the only, only reason to go to Riverwood is if you die and you don't have a bed, you'll spawn right next to Riverwood. Uh, if you go to the end and you don't have a bed, you'll come back at Riverwood. Or if you're starting out on the server and you need a plot of land, you've got to go to the land office. Which is where we're headed. I was actually thinking of uh, allowing us to reserve another 1024 area next to us. Ah. There's only one left for me, so I'd have to do it. I'm not going to allow anybody to take it if, they, if, they, you know, if Lance joins us. Go. Yeah. Go over somewhere. there, not here. You can't have that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think people need to have, you know, adjacent land. Otherwise, it's just a bit unfair. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to have another plot of land on the opposite side of you, for example. Yeah, yeah you'd have to have your own nether rail to get there. No, uh, I ran out of putting my thing my stomach, stomach meatloaf in the cups. <laughs> Chicken. Bok, bok. This is one of the nice things about having a bow that does flame, is you can cook the chicken immediately. <laughs> like that. I don't really care about the animals out here because this is not anywhere near where I'm ever going to live. Where are you? Getting a little wool. I haven't finished my carpet in my bedroom. Uh -huh. I technically had enough wool, but I overdyed. Riverwood. There's a sign even. And this is north. Tell you what, it takes a while to orient yourself in, in Minecraft. You know, you get, you get to figure out where the sun is going. And nothing feels natural because the numbers just go in weird directions. Like, you would think heading north would be a positive thing, but it's a negative. Okay, is there someone this house? MLS, is it me? Yep, that's your old house. My old house. The first tools and a cut or so stone. Timber cutlass and pickaxe or timber. Stone cutlass. No sign of this house. Could be anyone's place. Hey. Uh, ooh, there's 13 whole saplings. Ooh. Hey, wait, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> oh, wait, that's normal. That's not birch. No, it's not. Let's go see what's got left behind. Apart from destruction. <laughs> You may have noticed a lot of this place is being blown up and remodeled and... Creepered. Scott and Creepers get along. <laughs> Scott was living in this church until enough of it was destroyed. Then he moved to this house over here. And he left behind some eggs, some flowers, lots of spoiled meat. Ew. how we divide up the land. So, north is up, east is right, of course. But of course, you look at the, the numbers and the positive numbers actually go southeast. It's like, what? <laughs> so this is because the way he programmed it, east is north. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He had to change it because of the maps. Uh, so the very center here is, is Riverwood, basically. So, you know, you head southeast and you get into my territory and then find the leases. You head northwest and you get Mackie, Scott, Jinx, and Phil. All right there. This up right there. James, Ian, they're using his name. So, yes. I'm struggling to get there. 
This is what Lisa was talking about in the last episode when she was saying that she took a copy of this so she could remember where things were. Okay, I guess we need to get our make our way back. Mm. That's enough of Riverwood. Oh, there's a ladder that goes up. Yes, because all the way to the top you can uh, observe from up there. The place where you spawn is just over there. Nice place. This is in my land. My land. And you keep reminding people of that. My church. Here. My church. Yeah, my blown up village. Keep blowing up my village. Like, what the hell? <laughs> It's your own village to blow up. Now he has. <laughs> okay. Like keyboard. Oh, come on. It's a game deal. Right back. Whee! Probably should have tried the glowstone variant so that it run even faster. I I gotta say I I, I love enchanting. And I was kind of always scared of doing potions, but now that I'm brewing potions, this is really fun. They're useful. The problem was that finding the nether world was so hard. Yeah, you had to find another fortress to find it. Yeah, I traveled quite far. Hey, Butch, I need you. What the? Might be part of the spawn area. Oh. Or you're uh, just lagging. It does that sometimes. Probably because of craps. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of half uh, destroyed trees when I actually get the lag down. Yeah, it's not letting me take any of these. Yeah, these are my mountains. I just don't think much of them. No, they're kind of... I don't know. They're inconvenient, is the way I put them. <laughs> I think I'll end this by going back to where we started, which... This is my bedroom. So if enough of our land is mapped out, we may as well change the generator so the new land that we go to may have just... Oh. That's true. Since we know we're in 1024 chunks, it'd be very easy for me to go into MC Edit and just cut it out. Mm, we don't even need to. Oh, right. I actually just stand in the portal. Huh? Your, for your square portal thing is confusing. 